I don't know about okay, you black so people, yeah, but. Yeah. All right, how you doing tonight? What's your name? Danae. Well, uh, are you single? No. What's your type in general? What's your type? Uh, my husband. Oh, you got a husband? Oh, yeah. 23 Ooh. years today, actually. 23. Hey, congrats. Congratulations, <laughs> man. What, what, what's your husband? What, what is he? Yeah, like, like He is the whitest of white. He's a redhead. My okay. ginger. The question of tonight, you don't have to answer it. I know you got a husband. I don't want to push right. you I'll answer honestly. So, question is, what is your go-to move in the bedroom? Oh, oh my God, am I going to have to say the hot to her? Okay, thank God, because that's not true. Um, no, let me see. Speak your mind. Hang on, let me just really think about it here. 23 years of marriage, that's a long time, five that's kids. What, hey, man. How, wait, yeah, we got to change it up a lot. Before you answer that, how do you keep it spicy? Like, how do you keep Interesting, it... Interesting, with kids in the house? Yeah, oh. You got to try all kinds of different shit. Wow. Well, actually, we went to Oklahoma for, like, last year for our anniversary, and hot tub and other things, so oh, there's, wow. you know... Wow. I mean, we just change it up. That's really what you got to do. You got to change it. You can't just like stay the same. Y'all ever try like the uh, dressing up as different people and all no, that? No, fuck that shit. Role play? No, no. Oh, none no. of that? Okay, okay. Because, look, I'm going to beat him up if he likes it. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> That's just being honest. Okay. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Y'all yeah, ain't adding nobody in No, there. fuck no. Oh, Hell no. Okay, okay. Back to the original question. Oh, guys, How, oh you, you want me to answer that? What do I do? Okay, let me. Everything. I fucking do anything that he wants me to do. So I don't know, like. There's not like a specific go-to. It's just whatever, whatever you know we feel like or whatever I think, you know. Watch we it. communicate. 23 years of marriage. He tells That's me what he wants and I do it. That's it. So you're, do you think two people in a marriage for a long time could actually have real genuine happiness? Absolutely. I'm yeah. like, you're happy. I'm standing here. Hell yeah. Happy. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm in Florida right now with my daughter on my 23rd anniversary. And ain't no, look, he trusts me 100%. We fucking love each other and there ain't no fucking thing. Like, awesome. Hey, congrats. That's love, baby. That's, that's love. That's amazing. What do y'all do when you get bored, like, of each other? Or do you get bored? We or do you, get bored you don't get bored? It's my best friend. That is, that is awesome. That's, a, that's my like, bro. That's my gang gang. Look. Like, hey, what? A1 from day one, baby. I love it. <laughs> hey, I love, I love to hear that, man. Well, any advice for the young couple? Because it seems like a lot of people out here are kind of, like, more into being single. And, uh... So I was a mom at 17 years old. Okay. This is my, actually my second marriage. Okay, so I got divorced and remarried by the time I was 19. Again, 23 years of marriage. And I will tell you, we always tell people we love hard and we fight hard. And if we have a disagreement about something, and I mean, we're going to fight about it. But we don't hold grudges. We get over shit and we communicate. We might have, you know, emotions get high or whatever. And then as soon as the emotions come down, you just talk shit out. You don't give up on each other. You just talk that shit out. That's all it is. You got to communicate. A lot of people, they get to those rough patches and they think, oh, my God, I don't like this person anymore or whatever. And it's like done. Nah, man. I, I don't regret hanging in there. Not one fucking damn bit. Now, I know he would say the same shit. That's fine. Now, do you believe uh, men and women have roles to play in a relationship or no? Okay. Well, I, my husband was a pastor. I was, I'm an ex-pastor's wife, so we had that whole, you know, for years. I mean, from the time I was 21 till literally 2020 is when we walked away from the church, so I could get into a whole thing about that. Wow. You know, a whole submissive wife, and, and, you know, he was the leader and stuff. But now I'm to a place where we are seeing that it's more of an equality thing, that it's not, well, I'll, I'll say there's still a certain amount of submission that goes on, but it's between two people. We submit to one another, as the Bible would say. Okay. But so we've kind of stepped away from that. I, more than him, have stepped away from kind of like, I guess, the the complete Christian, or I'd say the American Christianity, the, the church or whatever. Okay. And so we, we do what's right for us, and that's that's what matters. Because everybody else, you are not going to please everyone. And you got all these different, you know, denominations and crap. So, I mean, you just got to do it. What's good so for, you for YouTube, and it's working for us. I mean, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of moving more into uh, seeing the beauty in all belief systems and understanding that uh, human nature is that we want to believe in something. Where yeah. we have, we all have this fear. That depending on where you grow up, is going to be what belief system you adhere to, or what you're taught. You can call it indoctrination or whatever, but that's kind of what you're going to be into. Whether it's you know uh, Islam or I don't know, Hindu or whatever, you know, but yeah, yeah. I can see the beauty in all of it now more so in just understanding that I can just say this. I can say, I don't know anything a hundred percent. So I'm not going to judge somebody for what they believe and whatever things they go through or whatever. And then even you add just human trauma onto things. And, and like, I, I could bet that you have your own story of what, you know, 
traumas you had as a child or, or whatever. And so that molds you and shapes you into the person that you are right now. And so, you know, people go through and they grab onto something like, you know, Christianity and this faith and this, you know, this hope of something because it's a beautiful thing. What, what do people have if they don't have hope? If you don't have something to believe in, what, what do you have? And so I think that's really what it is. I'm just getting to a point where I'm just, I can see the beauty in all of these belief systems and I don't have to, you know, yeah. shove my belief down somebody else's throat or say I'm right when in reality, who knows? Who knows who's absolutely right, so. All right, last question, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. All right, um, all right so um, there's, there's a, a <laughs> there's a popular saying in the black community, I'm gonna ask you a, a uh, different question. All right. That black people are always late. What is your <laughs> What is your opinion no, on that and why do people say that? I have no clue. I've never heard that in my entire life. I, I get never told heard, I'm like color people I'm time. No. Uh, on black people okay, time. Okay, look, my friend would so hurt me right now, but we always say my my dearest friend Tiffany is late all the time, so I always say I'm on Tiffy time. Oh, and she okay. is the whitest of white women, okay? So I don't know. I don't know okay, about you black so people, it, but it, it ain't, it ain't we white people, we late too. I don't okay, know what you're talking all right, about. Cool, 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 cool. All right, hey, man, we appreciate you. <laughs> you, too. you got like a business or anything you want to shout out? Um, Instagram or anything? Homeschool mama right here, what? Hey, <laughs> man, shout out to you. We appreciate your time. Jason man. Selman, I love you, baby. Hey. <laughs> That's that's nice. That's sweet.